Hi, uh, I am Faisal Ghani. I am working as a pre-sales consultant for HP Networking within Reddington for the past years. Uh, today's uh, agenda is mainly about uh, HP and uh, wireless architecture and how the wireless evolution happened within HPM. We start with the basic uh, architecture uh, like you know, the initial days when uh, the HP was into the networking, we started with the standalone wireless. We all know that what is the advantage of standalone wireless and uh, what is the disadvantage of that. Uh, normally in a standalone wireless network, if we are going uh, beyond uh, 10 access points or 20 access points in a network, uh, basically there will be a lot of collision and uh, when we are moving from one place to another place, every time we need to re authenticate on the next access points and there is no way that we can centrally, centrally manage the access points which is being implemented on the uh, system. So that is the reason that we moved to an architecture called centralized uh, architecture wherein which we have a controller which is there in the network and access points which is there in the network. So the access points are basically controlled by the controller architecture and uh, whatever the access points we need to uh, we need to write uh, update the OS everything is taken care by the controller. And whereas if you want to uh, monitor uh, the uh, traffic, monitor the um, uh, wireless access points and uh, if we have to update the firmware versions of each, we can schedule in a manner that one access point is then at the time and we, need to, we can ensure that the access point is working fine, then we need to move to the second uh, access points. But what is the uh, basic disadvantage of this uh, architecture is when we are going to this uh, normally we have two types of traffic which is there in the wireless, uh, wireless. one is uh, user application traffic uh, the user application traffic is where uh, which uh, whatever the data uh, the wireless users are communicating will go to the controller every time and it will be routed to the switch then uh, there is a bottleneck on the controller so uh, the user management uh, traffic is basically about the management traffic to manage uh, the access points by the controller. It is to just authenticate the uh, user is being logged with this uh, particular AP and the controller will come to know that and uh, every time the AP boots up, the controller will have a license on that and it will be authenticated and the AP will be registered with a specific controller. But one of the main disadvantage of this centralized architecture is uh, we have a bottleneck on the controller uh, traffic when all the application traffic was routed to the controller port. So the third evolution is uh, we, we will move to an optimized wireless architecture where in which the application traffic is being handled by the switch. There is no need for the application traffic every time to move to the controller and creates a bottleneck over here. So we have controller on the network, we have application servers on the network and we have PoE switches in the network. and uh, the, access points will be uh, connected to the switches uh, once the access point it boots up it uh, it gives the management information to the controller and gets registered to the controller and once that is done and uh, mostly everything is done and rest of all is about the application traffic which which is uh, which is handled by the internal network I mean it's a distributed architecture so there is no need for the application traffic to go every time to the controller uh, and creates a bottleneck over here. So that is an advantage of optimized wireless architecture. And now the latest evolution is unified optimized uh, uh, wireless architecture. That is, we are, we are having a JC based controller which gets on top to goes to JC and uh, we are converging the wireless and wired network into a single platform. And now the uh, we can get on to the products a brief uh, about the MSM wireless and the ACDs wireless. Basically, we have two different. Um, uh, basically, we have two different uh, options in the wireless network. I mean, wireless product portfolio we can select. One is uh, mainly with the MSM uh, wireless products. MSM is a brand we acquire from uh, uh, Colubris, uh, which is a known uh, wireless vendor in the European market. Um, uh, somewhere around August uh, 2008, we acquired this brand. And we got a set of controllers and um, access points as well. So basically, in this, uh, we have basically two types of controller right now existing. One is the MSM 720, which can, which by default comes with 10 access point license, and it can grow up to 40 access point license. 
and there are other couple of controllers which is MSM 760 and 765. The 765 one is a chassis based controller which gets on the chassis of 5406 or uh, I mean the 540, uh, 54 series or the A2 series. It gets on the chassis of the uh, chassis of these switches and uh, by default it comes with 40 AP license and it can grow up to 200 AP license. Now one more thing what we can do here is uh, uh, by teaming the controller, we can make the access points. Uh, we, may, we can make uh, the controllers to control 800 access points at the same time. Uh, we can team five access controllers. I mean five uh, controllers. Uh, that is uh, five into uh, 200. Out of which uh, 200 will be a redundant one. So we, we, we can have 800 access points with a 200 access point redundancy level. And uh, we have a set of uh, access points like MSM 310, 410, 430, 460, 466 and 466. Or this is an outdoor access point and MSM 410 to 466 is all uh, in series access points and this is an ABG access point. So one of the, one of the beauty of uh, this in series access points or uh, it, all these access points supports mesh architecture so if you have to extend the wireless network from place where it is wired to not I mean the place we cannot lay the cable that is possible we can extend the wireless network well, I mean wireless network through uh, without any wires to another uh, place so that is much possible with all the in series access points and uh, these all uh, these three access points can support beamforming technology and uh, uh, band steering technology. Band steering st technology is something like uh, we can uh, we can enhance the clients. Uh, I mean, uh, we can uh, move the clients to five gigahertz. I mean, uh, uh, it's uh, by by doing that we are reducing the traffic, and so we can move the clients which is capable of five gigahertz to the uh, to the specific brand. But only thing is the client. I mean, the end end users. The end clients should be capable of five, uh, operating on the 5 gigahertz. Uh, so that way we are reducing the traffic in this uh, 2.4 gigahertz. This thing and uh, the beam forming is a technology like uh, we we can eradicate the uh, I mean uh, we can we can enhance the enhance the wireless wireless network to all the areas which is where, where, where there are some gray areas where we don't have any wireless network. That is much possible by um, by adapting this beam forming technology. Like uh, most of the uh, access points, I mean in series access points are capable of uh, this uh, beam forming technology. And uh, um, uh, to manage all these uh, wireless points and the controllers, we have a management software. Basically, there are two management software to manage uh, the complete wireless network. Uh, there is uh, one is separate for uh, I mean uh, uh, MSM wireless band, the another one for uh, the A series wireless band. Uh, PCM Plus and the IMC software or the management softwares, we need to have a plugin called Mobility Manager on top of uh, PCM Plus to manage the uh, wireless uh, portfolio of MSM 720, 760, and whatever uh, comes with the M MSM brands. We need to have the Mobility Manager as a plugin module. Then uh, the IMC software, even IMC software is also enabled to manage all the MSM software from now on. It's, it is the latest addition to the IMC software. We need to have a WSM uh, module, I mean wireless services module uh, on top of the IMC based uh, software to manage the complete uh, wireless portfolio. Coming to the A series wireless, this A series wireless is something we, when, when we start an acqu acquisition of uh, this 3 comb uh, brand, we have a set of wireless uh, access points and controller from 3Com which is being uh, incorporated on the ACDS and we have a, a controller and access points on, uh, on the ACDS wireless as well. Uh, we have uh, uh, four different types of controller. One is a JC based controller which gets onto the JC of 7500 series switch. Uh, this uh, by default comes with 128 AP license and it can grow up to 640 AP license as a maximum capacity. So we can add uh, as a group of 128 AP licenses into 5 times plus 128 uh, AP by default uh, which makes a uh, total quantity of 640 access points and the next uh, standalone access points are WS5004 uh, and 2 series 
and then 3000 3, is the uh, entry level series of uh, our wireless controller. This can manage up to uh, 24 access point. By default, it comes with 12 AP license. The other two can uh, manage up to 256 and 64 access points uh, respectively. And we have a couple of uh, access points also, uh, in the A series. Uh, there is a WA2612, which is a single radio in series access point. And the WA2620 is a uh, dual radio uh, access point, which, uh, in series access points, which is available on the A series. Uh, all these access points and the controller can be managed using uh, WSM uh, plugin module from the IMC management uh, software. Uh, we, we cannot uh, use this MSM wireless, uh, uh, I mean, uh, the Proco Manager Plus to manage the, uh, the wireless controller and uh, the access points over here. We need to use only the IMC software and we need to add a WSM module and the number of uh, uh, licenses uh, based on the total number of access points available to manage the complete uh, portfolio. Uh, one thing we need to take into major consideration is if you are going for MSM wireless brand, we need to choose only the controller and the access points from the MSM brand access. Then if you are going for A-series controller and the A-series access points, we need to choose only this one. And the same is with the management software as well. And uh, uh, yeah. lately the management, I mean the development is happening on the MSM brand, so it is better to stick on to the MSM uh, brand. Uh, we have a lot of features added to the MSM wireless. Uh, the, one of the major difference between these two are uh, we have outdoor access points available on the MSM brand as such and we don't have one on the ACTS controller. So basically uh, this section would have given you a brief idea of um, uh, wireless architecture and the different types of uh, access points and the controllers available. So I hope so this should be help, helpful to you to question the uh, right product for the right requirement. Um, thank you.